NYIT Television Sports presents the championship game in men's Division II lacrosse. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stiles Field on Adelphi University's Garden City campus for the championship game in men's Division II lacrosse. I'm Mike Trezza, and I'm joined by Tom Judge. We've got the number one team in the nation, the Adelphi University Panthers, hosting number two, the New York Tech Bears. And if you love lacrosse, I know you do, Tom. We've got an exciting matchup for you here this afternoon. Oh, we certainly do. These two teams faced off on each other back on April 6th to a 17-16 Adelphi win. Now, Mike, New York Tech had an opportunity to win the game in the last 19 seconds. They had a man-up situation. They just could not get the ball in the goal. Tech has an opportunity to avenge that loss here this afternoon and come away with the national championship. But to do it, they're going to have to shut down that Adelphi University vaunted offensive attack. Yes, led by number nine, Rob Greller. He was a 1996 Division II Player of the Year. Scored 59 goals last year. This year, he comes into the game with 42 goals, but a more balanced offensive attack for Adelphi. And what about the substantial offensive assault for New York Tech? Who can we look for today, Tom? Well, look for number three, Joe Brock. He is a Division II returning All-American. He comes into the game with 65 assists on the year, among the leaders in the nation, Mike. Adelphi and New York Tech, the Panthers and the Bears, set to square off to decide the national championship in just two minutes. Welcome back to Stiles Field on the Garden City campus of Adelphi University for today's national championship game in men's Division II lacrosse. Mike Trezza on hand to call the action for you, and I'm joined by Tommy Judge. Let's take a look at the coaching matchups today. For Adelphi University, the home team, the Panthers, they're coached by Sandy Capitos, who's now in his fourth year, and the Bears are coached by Jack Kelly, who's now in his fifth season at the helm at New York Tech. Adelphi University, the number one ranked team in the nation, comes in with an 11-1 record on the season, and the Bears, the number two ranked team in the country, come in with a record of 11-2. Let's take a look at our goalie matchup this afternoon. For Adelphi, it's the senior, Rich Grismer, number one. And for New York Tech, it's Adam War, number five, the junior out of Mineola. There you get a look at Adam War on your screen as the captains are out there on the field to start the game. Adelphi University is in the home white uniforms with yellow trim, while the Bears of New York Tech are in the blue uniforms with the white numbers and yellow trim. As far as the goalie matchup goes, Mike, as you see the captain shaking hands, on paper it looks pretty even as Adam War has a 69% save percentage and Grismer has a 700% save record. But on reputation, Grismer comes in as a two-time second team All-American selection and he's a top candidate for the Markland Award as the top goalie in Division II. The referee for today's game is Ray Buckley. Our other officials are Bob Curcio, George Gagas, and Buzz Lynn. To take the faceoff for New York Tech, it's number nine, Jay Fastigi. And for Adelphi, it's number three, Anthony Picone. National championship game just about to get underway from here at Stiles Field. Here's the faceoff. It's still loose at midfield. Both teams battling for it now. And we've got a violation and that's going to put Adelphi on offense, for actually New York Tech on offense. Yes, pushing from behind on Adelphi, Tech takes possession. Torino has possession for the Bears. Torino goes right to work, now goes behind the goal, gives it up for Joe Brock. Joe Brock, the captain of the New York Tech Bears and their quarterback on offense. He's behind the goal. Brock, now in front, unleashes the shot. It goes high and wide past the sideline, but New York Tech keeps possession. Good check on the crease there by Cruciani, not letting Brock take that shot from point-blank range. For New York Tech on attack to start the game is Joe Brock, number three, Steve Tempone, number 12, and Gavin Why Not, number 15. At defenseman, it's Brian Gunn, 18, Brian Hennon, 22, along with the freshman, Adam Hopkins, number 27. This is Gavin Wynott with the ball. 
Why not is guarded by Gillis. Why not? Looking for help. Gets it in the middle. Couldn't get it on anybody's stick. Play continues in front of the Tech goal. Ball is still loose on the far sideline. And finally it's picked up by Cruciani of Adelphi. He loses it momentarily. Cruciani looking to scoop the ground ball. And we've got a whistle. I'll tell you, New York Tech, that's called getting a ride. That means every attack and midfielder gets on the defender and the other midfielders and don't let them get the ball out of the zone. Tech still on the attack, on the attack with Gavin Why not? Why not? Sends a shot that's a save. Another shot in front. Why not? His shot hits the post. Rebound for Torino. He scores. That is a personification of persistence. New York Tech is all over the ball. Anthony Torino, number 28, you see him there, has the first goal of the game at 13.25 left in the first quarter. Torino got the rebound off the shot that had hit the pipe, and he went low. We have the replay here. There's Torino scooping it up. Watch him go low. Boom, bounce it past the goalie. He beats Rich Grismer for the first goal of the game. So quickly, Tech is on top 1-0. David Grace on the faceoff this time for the Bears. And instead, Adelphi comes away with it. 26 is Brad Ross. And Adam Hopkins, the freshman, is after it for Tech, and he gets it. He gives it back to Joe Brock. And Brock crosses over into the offensive zone. New York Tech has a lot of intensity on loose balls and also with the checking. Joe Brock still with the ball behind the Adelphi goal. Now gives it up on the near side to Why Not. Why Not gives it back to Rice Sanic, who's now in an attack for the Bears. Rice Sanic is guarded by Brad Ross. Rice Sanic trying to shake loose. Down to 12 and a half minutes to go, opening quarter of play. Tech on top, 1-0 over Adelphi. Nice feed to Rice Sanic. He tries the turnaround shot, no good. Yeah, he tried to whip that over his right shoulder after catching on the side. He's quick. He only weighs 140 pounds. He might be troubled by the end of the game as Adelphi's defense wears down. Now the Panthers of Adelphi University, the top-ranked team in the nation, go on offense for the first time here this afternoon. They've got the white uniforms. They go from right to left here in the opening quarter. Grismer, the goalie, sends it near side to James Gillis. Why not? Works him over with the stick. Here's a steal by Tempone. Tempone fires it in. Absolutely phenomenal coverage. Getting the ride. It's a lacrosse term that they work on all year long. And Tempone caught Grismer way out of the goal that time, Tommy. Sloppy pass into the middle of the field. Grismer did not go and meet the ball, which is why New York Tech was able to step in to make the interception. And here we see... Boom, faked him out. Grismer was way off balance. He had no shot on that play, Mike. Tempone puts the Bears up two to nothing. We've got 12 minutes left in the first quarter of play from here at Adelphi University. David Grace working on the faceoff again this time for the Bears. He's working against Picone. Anthony Picone, number three for Adelphi, will take about 80 to 90 percent of the faceoffs, and he wins about 65 percent, Tom. 5'9, 210. He's a massive individual in there. We got a whistle. New York Tech player had grabbed the shoulder and stick of an Adelphi player. Rich Vizlaki with possession for Adelphi on the near side. Gives it up across the field. Nice pass. We've got flags flying in front of the Tech goal. Outstanding catch on the run. That was a give and go. And on the break, he had to make a long one-handed catch. And he was hitting the head as he attempted to shoot that. That was Charlie Flaherty. But as you mentioned, Tom, a nice dish to Flaherty coming from Rich Vizlaki, the sophomore midfielder. Flaherty did well just to get that shot off. And now they will be in a man-up situation as Tech has a player in the penalty box. Number 22, Brian Hedden, will be in there. So we've got the first penalty of the game at just under 12 minutes as Adelphi's on the attack, man-up situation. They work it around the perimeter. Now back to Brad Ross. 
on the far side it goes now back behind the goal near side for Flaherty up top for Eugene Curran Tech in their familiar zone defense here's the shot a low bounce shot from Flaherty he scores Flaherty comes right back missed on his first attempt and the low shot gets past War. Score is now two to one. And Adelphi comes right back, answering with a tough shot. Here we go. With the low crank, War had no chance. Although he's very upset with himself. Charlie Flaherty, the junior out of Sachem, has just put Adelphi on the board for the first time. They've closed the gap now to two to one. Here's Torino with possession for Tech on the far side. We've got a flag flying and we're gonna get a penalty on Picone of Adelphi. Both teams starting out the game with an awful lot of intensity. Let's see if they can maintain it throughout the entire matchup. Now New York Tech goes on the man up offense for the first time in this game. Fastigi on the far side gives it back to Karanikas. Brock across for why not? Why not? What a save that time by Rich Grismer. Grismer's in trouble behind the cage now. Oh, what a pass. What a pass to a midfielder. Adelphi still with possession, but that pass is broken up and stolen by Hennon for New York Tech. Stolen right back, and now Adelphi's on the break. Adelphi. There is a flag down on the play, Mike. That shot goes wide. And that shot came from Pete Friedman, 29. And another penalty on New York Tech. So a very physical contest here at the outset, Tom. And New York Tech puts himself in the spot again. Again, they're in the man down situation. Last time it happened, we saw Flaherty score the first goal for Adelphi. Just over 10 minutes to go here from Stiles Field on Adelphi University's Garden City camp, uh, campus. Mike Trezza along with Tom Judge and New York Tech leads Adelphi by a score of two to one. These two teams squaring off for the national championship in Division II lacrosse here this afternoon. That's Rob Grella getting the offense all set up. He might be going to listen to the coach. Okay, time was expiring on the Adelphi penalty. Behind the goal to Mangan, now on the far side for Friedman. Friedman's gonna try to get it to Grelli. Gets it back to Flaherty, now over to Picone. Back to Flaherty on the far side. Mangan looking to set up Grelli. It was knocked away by Hopkins. Tex after it on the near side but it's kept in by Adelphi Adelphi with the shot in front a save by War outstanding anticipation by War on that play Brian Hennon has it stolen away but picked back up by Hopkins Hopkins gets it to the quick Rob Brown Rob Brown is knocked down and has it stolen by Curran here's Curran he holds it up and waits for help and has it poked away by Jim Droge got a push on Adelphi that's going to send the ball back over to New York Tech. This is a wild pace early in the game here, Mike. We're watching both teams throw the ball around randomly. Jim Droge, number 11 for New York Tech, one of the more physical defensemen, and he came in and gave a couple checks on that play. Rob Brown has it on the far side. Fastigi, but I believe we've got an offside that's going to send it back over to the Panthers. We are watching New York Tech break down a little bit here with their organization. Mark Mangan back behind the goal to Friedman. Friedman, nice dish in front. 
trying to find Matt Santini. It's knocked away. We've got a whistle. And now we have an offsides on Adelphi. Send it back the other way. So Brian Gunn, the big defenseman for New York Tech, has it on the near corner. He's worked over by Mangan. And, and nobody comes to help him out, so he has to cheap it down the field. Tempone battling for it against Keith Lowmuller, and Adelphi gets possession. Getting sloppy a little bit, Mike, getting sloppy. We're down to 8.20 left in the first quarter of play. Tech on top of Adelphi, 2-1. to one. Nice pass to Ross. Ross gets it back. Now gets it to Grella. Now gets it back from Grella. Behind the goal to Friedman. Mangan looking for help. That shot goes wide and it skips past the end line. But Adelphi keeps the ball. Tech keeps their defense compact. What I mean by that is it keeps the defenders close to the cage to stop any cutters, which means there's somebody always going to be open on the outside for Adelphi. Here's Brad Ross. Gives it up on the far side. Mangan. Mangan sets up Grella. Grella's shot bounces wide. As the Adelphi player penetrates, he's met with the double team. And when there's a double team, that means somebody's open every single time. So it's up for the Delphi playmakers to hit the pass right in the right spot. Pacone is watched by Hopkins. Back to Ross. Pacone, he'll bounce one, and he gets it in. Anthony Pacone, the sophomore midfielder, has just tied the score at two apiece. Pacone with the low shot. He has 10 goals on the year. We watch him, he gets the opportunity to crank. Maybe they think they found something in war. Adam War has let two low shots go past him in the early going. And Adam Hopkins, the freshman defender, was the player who got beat for Tech on that play. David Grace now will take the draw for New York Tech. This time he works against Steve Albrecht, and Tech wins it, Tech's on the break. And now Joe Brock slows it down on the far side. Joe Brock gets it to Gavin, why not? Why not? With a spin move, passes up the shot. Gives it up for Brock. Good patience being shown by the Bears. Brock still has the ball. Brock, what a save by Grismer. Easy shot to stop, went right into his net. Bounce the ball, you give the goalies a lot more problems. Low Muller ahead to Eugene Curran. Curran has the ball for Adelphi on the near side. Curran back behind the goal to Mangan. Mangan and Ross, the two Australians on Adelphi. That's Mangan behind the tech goal. Nice pass and another save by Adam War. We'll have goalie interference there. War trying for the quick outlet that time, Tom. Right, and the stick was blocked by an Adelphi defender trying to stop the clear. Tech might have had a fast break there. Now Tech is on the break. Jeff Rysanek with the ball on the near side. Now works his way behind the goal. Now back in front, Rysanek with a high shot, and it's turned away by Grismer. Joe Brock has possession for the Bears. Brock, for why not? Why not on the near side? Here's the shot, bounce shot. Another stop by Grismer. Ball hit the outside of the netting. Grismer with the clear, ahead to Vizlaki. Vizlaki, nice dish in front. And Mangan scores the goal. That's the second time that Adelphi has had a cutter wide open as New York Tech Defenders are turning their head to watch the player with the ball, not knowing what's going on behind him. They're going to have to correct that. That's an excellent point there, Tom. That player was absolutely free, Mangan, and he got right behind the New York Tech defense. Adelphi's on top for the
the first time here this afternoon. They lead 3-2. to two. We've got 5.20 left in the first quarter of play. Fastigi back on the draw for New York Tech, working against Pacom. Adam Hopkins comes away with it for the Bears. No, 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 no. It's loose. It's loose and possession gets awarded to the Panthers. Brian Gunn with the push. Pacom will put it into play on the near side. That bounce shot goes wide. Shot came from Flaherty. Jim Droge with a solid check. Droge, probably the most physical defenseman on the Bears, Tom, and he showed it again on that play. Nice dish in front, and the low shot beats War once again. Tech is just sleeping. They have backdoor cutters going left and right, and they are just not aware of what's happening. It's the classic opportunity of not watching ball and man. As we see the cutter coming from behind the cage, look, you see his back's to the play. The defender has no idea. And then we go up and down and in. We've got a timeout on the field. While we do, we'll step away. Adele 5-4, New York Tech 2, back with more action right after this. Styles Field on Adelphi's Garden City campus is the setting for today's national championship game in men's lacrosse division two. Play is back underway and a little bit of physical play on the far sideline, Tom. Ball out of bounds off tech. Adelphi will take possession. Adelphi has taken over this game in the last seven minutes. They've scored four unanswered goals after tech jumped off to a two-nothing start. We're down to 440 left in the opening quarter of play. A crowd of about 700 thus far, and more people filing into Stiles Field here. Adelphi and Tech. Timeout called by Adelphi. Adelphi wants to settle it down. They have not been able to solve so far New York Tech's run. New York Tech has been catching a ride, as they say, and Adelphi has not been able to satisfy that on the clear. We're back with more action in just two minutes. This is NYIT Television Sports. Welcome back to Styles Field at Adelphi. Play is back underway. Adelphi with possession on the far side, now on offense. Mangan with a nice setup in front, and Grella couldn't get his stick on it. We have an another flag down, offsides. That's on New York Tech, so Adelphi is going to get a power play. Man up situation coming for Adelphi. Now, Tech hasn't handled the situations with the cutters very well at all. They're going to have to keep more heads up. It's very similar to basketball, Mike. When a cutter goes back door, you have to be able to see him to get to him before he gets the pass. That penalty went on Gavin Wynott of the Bears, number 15. So Adelphi on the man up. Pacom, back to Curran, back to Pacom. Grella up top to Flaherty. Adelphi working it around. Droge going for the steal. He can't get his stick on it. Here's a shot. Blistering shot goes wide of war. And a nice check by Brian Gunn. Flattening the shooter for Adelphi. Adelphi still with the man advantage. Pacone. Nice setup in front. And again, the shot goes high and wide. Adelphi got that shot off just as the man was released from the penalty box, so both teams are playing with even strength. Mangan, behind the tech goal, is worked over by Droge. Mangan 
through traffic, gets off the shot, and scores the goal. Unbelievable stick work by Mangan. He comes around, he beats three Tech defenders. Mike Mangan, the young man from Australia with his third consecutive goal, you see him there, as just put Adelphi up by three. See, he goes to the fake high and low as soon as War reacts to the high fake. That's not War's fault. Offensive player is not supposed to get that close as we watch um, Brian Gunn get beaten. So now Adelphi with a three goal advantage. David Grace wins the faceoff for Tech, then loses it in the neutral zone. Rob Grella has it and gets it ahead to Mangan. Mangan has been a thorn in the Bears side thus far with three minutes left in the first quarter. Friedman Nice dish, that one's turned away and almost skips in, but War with good alertness. First low shot he has saved of the day. David Grace across the field to Brian Hennon. Hennon now ahead to Rob Brown. Rob Brown, a quick player on the break, now back behind the Adelphi goal. Brown still with the ball. To Rysanek, Rysanek up top. Tech needs to control the ball here for a little while. Keep the ball in their offensive end and take control of the game. Why not? And that's a save by Grismer. Another high shot attempt. Off the up, the right upright. That shot might have hit the post. Brian Gunn steals it back for the Bears. Crowd wanted a penalty, the Adelphi crowd, but none came. Adelphi still with possession. And nice cross field pass to Mangan. Mangan is worked over by two Bears, but still has the ball. Mangan gets it to Albrecht. Now back across the field to Curran. And Mangan offers a lot of challenge to Tech because he's lefty. And it's very unusual and hard to cover a guy who's an awkward hand. Adelphi trying to set up in front. It's knocked away by the Bears. War with the, cre with the clear ahead to Greg Bondariva, who's in an attack for the Bears. Bondariva now makes his break as Eugene Curran guards him. Gets it across to Why Not. Why Not with a low shot. That hits the sidebar. Curran did a great job defensively. He kept the tech player going around the outside of the cage. So when they tried to make the pass, Grismer could intercept it like Rysanek, that. Rysanek, number one, with possession for the Bears. Rysanek breaks in, puts the shot in, and scores the goal. There's the quickness, the burst of speed that we were looking for. He got around the outside. There was no help on the outside. Rysanek is 5'7", 140, and you see him. Boom, watch him cut inside here. Lowers the shoulder. There's nobody there to help. And he goes low. Boom, right there. Grismer went high, or Sonic went low. Goal for New York Tech. So the Bears, after Adelphi had scored five goals in a row, have just scored their third goal of the game with just about an even minute left to go in the first quarter. Adelphi's on top, five to three over New York Tech. Fastigi is in there for the faceoff against Picone, and Picone gives up possession to the Bears. Jay Fastigi, the midfielder from upstate Yorktown, gives it up to Torino. Torino is the cousin of Rob Grella for Adelphi. Torino, still with possession, has it knocked away. Why not has the ball. Why not looking to get a shot off. That goes wide, but Joe Brock keeps it in the offensive zone. Brock, and we've got a penalty coming up. Why not scores the goal. And that was the first time Tech had actually used a play with a man cutting to score the goal. Every other play had been a one-on-one -on -one move. And that's what Tech needs to do, start to get their teammates involved in the situation. Adelphi has done that time and time again. Brock has his first assist on the afternoon as you watch the nice pass here. Boom. That was very quick. Gavin Wynott, the leading scorer of the Bears this season, came into today with 44 goals on the season. And New York Tech has just made it a 5-4 game. We're down to 30 seconds left in the opening quarter of play. 
So it's been a game of streaks, Tom. Tech scored the first two. Adelphi came back with five. Now Tech with two more in a row. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Tech slowed it down. That's what, what's why they were able to come back to the position that they are now. They almost lost the tempo and the cadence. Fastigi again working against Picone for the faceoff. Picone kicks it, and it ends up with Friedman. Peter Friedman tries to set up in front. It goes past the end line, and New York Tech is going to get possession. Rob Grella did not think the pass was intended for him. It was a little bit behind him. He thought he might have had a teammate behind him. He let it go. Here's Fastigi on the near side. Fastigi waits for help and now goes to work. He flips it off to Joe Brock. Joe Brock guarded closely by Shane Dorfman. He gets away from Dorfman and that's the end of the first quarter of play. So with the score, Delphi University 5 and the New York Institute of Technology 4, we're back with the second quarter right after this. Second quarter, ready to get underway from Styles Field here at Adelphi, Mike Trezza and Tom Judge. And so far, Tom, New York Tech has done a decent job on Adelphi's main scoring threat, number nine, Rob Grella. Grella, back on April 23rd, set an Adelphi record with 10 goals in one game against Pace University. He has 136 goals in his three-year career at Adelphi. Good for third on the all-time list at Adelphi. He transferred over here from New York Tech after his sophomore season. Spent two seasons with the Bears. Has a best friend and a cousin still on the Bears. We'll talk a little bit more about it. But Tech is on the offensive end, now going from right to left here in the second quarter. Joe Brock behind the Adelphi goal. Brock gets it to Why Not. Why Not? Nice defense on him by number 27, Shane Dorfman. Tech keeps possession with Brock. Brock on the back pedal. Smart of Tech to settle down again. Brock, nice dish in front to Bondariva. Bondariva fans on the shot. And the shot was deflected or the pass, one of the two, by Cruciani. Got a stick in there. You can hear the ball hit the pipe of the stick. Sun starting to peek out from behind the clouds just a little bit here at Stiles Field, Tommy. Well, we have some ominous rain clouds on the horizon, and it might change the footing and also the goaltending as low shots that Adelphi likes to take will take awkward skips and New York Tech will have to take advantage of that too if that happens. Bears trying to tie the game on this possession. They trail 5-4. Joe Brock with the ball. 14 minutes left before halftime. He gets it to Rysanek. Rysanek tries to bounce a shot. It's blocked away in front and Flaherty ends up with it for Adelphi. Dorfman sends it ahead to Peter Friedman. Friedman is watched this time by Brian Hennon. Friedman gets it behind the goal to Mangan. Vizlaki near side for Friedman. Now back behind to Mangan. And Adelphi is using the patient offense. Notice all the player movement and a lot less one-on-one -on -one moves than New York Tech has. Curran that shot is blocked away and knocked back in on the rebound. We may have a no crease goal. violation. No goal. His foot was on the crease. That is absolutely true. And the New Jersey Devils know that better than anybody else after their series <laughs> with the Rangers, Tom. And Tech throws the ball away immediately right underneath us here as we are on the east side of the field. And watch the shot. The crank, but he goes high. And War is right there. And you see the foot is on the line before he taps it in. What effort that time by Pete Friedman trying to keep his feet out of the crease, as you mentioned, Tommy. Moore's got to hold on to that ball, not allow a rebound. That's very sloppy. Mangan, as the ball is dropped by Curran, now Curran gathers it for Delphi. Back across to Vizlaki. Twelve and a half left in the second. Adelphi up by a goal. Brian Curran. Nice dish in front, but that shot is blocked away. Nice defense by the Bears. Yes, Tech was all over that cutter that time. They're starting to get a little sharper in that, and that's what they have to do. 
Brian Hennon takes a slash from behind, no penalty call, and then dumps it off for Joe Brock. Brock thought about the shot, then passed it up. He had Cruciani where he could have gone either way. Cruciani had his back to him. Brock just couldn't take advantage. Brock with the turnaround shot, and he scores! Wow, he looked like Charles Barkley backing somebody down in the low post, and the turnaround jump shot goes right past Grismer. Grismer has five saves on the day, and that's the fifth goal against him. And we'll get a look at this. Brock on the low post, so to speak. Left side of the cage. Has Cruciani leaning, and boom, right past Grismer. Nice setup by Brock. And nice camera work by our camera crew as you get a look at some of the fans here in attendance as New York Tech has just tied this game at five apiece. Adelphi with Picone on the rush, dumps it off in front of the goal, and it's scored by Grella. Right. First goal of the day for number nine, Rob Grella. What is that, five seconds after they score a goal? Tech has to be better off than that. They can't allow that to happen. They want momentum, as you see. The Tech is trailing the play all the way. And the Delphi has such great offensive skills. Look at that little pass inside. And the positioning by the offensive player is very important. War is helpless back there. That's not his fault. Anthony Picone, the midfielder, made that play happen, Tom, with some quick footwork. And he set up Rob Grella right in front to put Adelphi back on top, 6-5. to five. We've got 11.30 left before halftime. Adelphi back with possession with James Gillis. Gillis gives it up for Santini. Here's Pete Friedman. Back behind to Mangan. Mangan to Friedman. They close it on him, and he can't get the shot off. It bounces wider than that. Adelphi still on the offense. Picone backs it out with Torino on him. Here's Friedman. Actually, Mangan. Mangan, nice dish in front. And Grella. Check. Scores the goal. Uh, the inside passing game, Adelphi, is phenomenal. But New York Tech, the defenders, once they get beat, they have to go a long way. Watch, watch the pass right across the cage. Defenders have their back to it, behind the cutters. They got to get sharper. They got to get sharper. That was Hennon beaten on that cut. Brad Ross actually was the player that scored that goal off the assist by Mike Mangan and Adelphi now once again has a two goal cushion as Rob Brown scoops it for New York Tech. Rob Brown one of the better players on ground balls he also is one of the quicker players on the Bears. 61 ground ball. Brown tries to set up Tempone. Tempone can't get a stick on it and back the other way is Vizlaki. Vizlaki to Grella they double team Grella and he has to dump off. And notice they set up their patient offense. But when this offense goes, things happen. Bang, bang. That's why Tech can't recover that quickly. Grella, nice setup in front. And it's knocked away from Mangan by Brian Gunn. Gunn is worked over on the far sideline. And then slashes and he gets a penalty right there. He was very frustrated that that ball was checked out of his stick. A lot of times we see that, Tommy. When you retaliate, you're the one who ends up called for a penalty. That's exactly it. Now, he was checked cleanly, but he was just upset with himself for not clearing the ball out of his zone. Brian Gunn's going to have to uh, work a little bit harder now that Tech will be manned down for 30 seconds. So New York Tech is going to have to put up a good defensive performance here for the next 30 seconds. We've got just 10 minutes left before halftime. Tech can't afford to go down by three goals. Grella now playing behind the net. Grella near side to Mangan. Back up top to Curran. Flaherty, Flaherty with the lefty shot, a blistering shot. It sails past the end line. 
Adelphi likes to go to the crank. That's Flaherty's third crank attempt on the day. Ball's back in play up top to Curran. Flaherty looking to get off once again. Shot by Friedman's no good. Still loose in front. And finally scooped up by War. That was a good save by War. He was all alone. Here's Rob Brown. Brown showing his trademark quickness. A little high step action there. Brown goes to work. That shot's a save by Grismer. Threw it right into his chest. Here's a Delphi back the other way. Friedman breaks in. He finds Mangan, but it pops off a Mangan stick. That shot is blocked in front. And nice job by Brian Gunn, 18. Rather courageous standing in front of that shot. Mangan can really let it fly. And we've got a timeout on the field. We're back with more action. Adelphi up over the Bears, 7-5. Welcome back, Mike Trezza along with Tom Judge bringing you the championship game in NCAA Division II men's lacrosse. It's the visiting New York Tech Bears and they trail 7-5 seven, seven to five against the Panthers of Adelphi University. We get a look at the crowd. The crowd has swelled to very nearly a thousand people here this afternoon, Tom. Now the crowd has seen a different kind of ball game here at different parts. Tech jumped out to a 2-0 lead and then Adelphi came right back, scored five straight goals tech answered with two more and now it's back and forth so a lot of streaks and peaks and valleys in this game mike vislaki goes back behind the goal to mangan mangan gives it up for grella vislaki back near side to mangan grella is guarded by Fastigi. Look how patient Adelphi is, waiting for the right time, work the ball around, let their defenders rest. Mangan tries to feed in front, and the Adelphi player couldn't get a stick on. Now he does, and he's turned away by War. I hit the pipe, Mike, I hit the pipe. War got lucky. Torino who leads Tech in ground ball, scoops that one up, sends it ahead, but turns possession back over to Adelphi. Cruciani gives it back to his goalie, Grismer. Grismer comes out of the net. And Adelphi clears the zone. Here's Friedman. Friedman, a dish on the side. Now gets it back. We've got a penalty coming, and again a nice save by Adam War. This should be penalty against Hopkins, hitting in the head. Slash to the head, he'll get a minute for that. Let's talk about briefly about what Adelphi is doing offensively. Working the ball around the perimeter, they are A, making the New York Tech defenders shuffle from side to side in their zone defense, and also they are getting a little lax, Tech defenders, and as soon as Adelphi spots an opening, boom, the cutter is going there and the ball is found instantly. Fans are continuing to enter here at Stiles Field on the Garden City campus of Adelphi to witness this championship game in Division II lacrosse. Nice feed, and again a nice save by Adam War. War jumped out and met the cutter that time. Here's Brian Hennon for the Bears. Hennon sends it ahead to Gavin Wynott. Gavin Wynott, the leading scorer of the Bears this season. New York Tech, a lot of one-on-one -on -one play not nearly as much passing you see the two contrasting styles here why not brings the ball all the way around why not looking to get his own shot and he sends it high and wide of rich grismer past the end line bears keep the ball why not has 44 goals on the year so that's not unusual for tech to do an isolation with him and here's the man who should get involved in the passing game joe brock brock gives it up for rice sanic Rysanek now working behind the Adelphi goal with Charlie Flaherty guarding him. Rysanek trying to shake Flaherty. Sides are all even again. 
Brock, nice feed in front to Why Not. Why Not couldn't get the shot away. Why Not keeps it in for Tech, and Joe Brock gets the ground ball. Brock trying to get it to Tempone. And he's flattened. We've got flags flying in every direction. So now Tech will enjoy a man-up situation. 32, Cruciani is called for that penalty for Adelphi University. The New York Tech players stand much closer to the cage than the Adelphi offensive players do. So when the Tech player penetrates, A, Adelphi defenders are there quickly, and for the passing lane to open up, the Tech players have to step out and are going away from the cage, and it's a much further shot. That's just the difference the way the two teams play, Mike. Cruciani was ticketed for holding, so Tech on the man advantage team with Greg Bondariva now in. Karanikis gives it up for Gavin Why not? Why not on the move to his right? Pass is knocked away by Adelphi and scooped up by Adelphi. Past the end line, Tech keeps the ball though. Great check by Bonda Riva on the sideline. Getting the ball back for Tech. New York Tech fortunate to keep possession of that ball. Fastigi gives it back up to Joe Brock. Brock has got to get involved in the passing game, get some of his teammates off. Penalties over, sides up all even again. Five fifteen left in the second quarter of play. Adelphi up seven to five. Joe Brock on the move. Brock is knocked down, and we've got a penalty flag coming. The Adelphi crowd, Tom, thought he might have slipped down, and I thought he might have as well. He did slip down, but when he was on the ground, he got a cross-check to the shoulder head area. That's what the referee saw. He did slip by himself. James Gillis, 15, the defenseman, is whistled for that infraction. We'll take another look. Okay, we didn't get that one. I think our audience will just have to trust us, Mike, on that one. <laughs> Karanikis, with possession, gives it up near side to Rysanik. Now back behind to Brock. Feed in front to Tempone. Tempone scores the goal. Outstanding, outstanding. You see what a little ball movement does, especially with the player in the penalty box and the man down situation here. That's Joe Brock on the goal right there. Oh, excuse me, with the assist. And Tempone, the cutter. Everybody had their backs to the play. That's what Adelphi has been doing to Tech, so a little bit of revenge with the same kind of play for Tech. Tech has, clock, has closed the gap to 7-6. to six. David Grace on the faceoff against Pacone, but Pacone comes away with it for Adelphi. Joe Brock is down and slow to get up for the Bears. Flaherty. Tries to find a teammate, tries to find Grella. It goes past the sideline. New York Tech gets the ball back. He did not throw an overhand pass. He threw a sidearm pass that got away from him. Sailed out of bounds. 4.37 left in the second quarter of play. We're coming to you from Stiles Field in Garden City on the Adelphi campus. Mike Treza and Tommy Judge. Adelphi and New York Tech squaring off for all the marbles here this afternoon. Rob Brown on the move for the Bears. Brown now behind the Adelphi goal as New York Tech sets up his offense. Jeffrey Sanek now with possession on the far side. Shot is knocked away. Joe Brock rebounds. Brock Looking to find a cutter, he can't. And Brock will have to reset the offense. He was lucky that his hand didn't fall on the crease when he fell. He was looking right down at it too, and so did both officials take a quick look at that. 3.45 left in the second. Here's Rysanik. Rysanik is double teamed and turned away. Can't get the shot off. Gives it up for Why Not, who sends it across to Robbie Brown. Brown looking to lose his defender. He's working against McCormick. And we've got a whistle that stops play. 
And that was a warding off called against Brown. Brown was trying to point to one of his teammates where to cut, and he accidentally warded off, and an official was right on it. Rob Brown being told to calm down by Joe Brock, his captain. Those two played together at Farmingdale Junior College before transferring here to New York Tech. Ball is loose at midfield. Tampone trying to scoop it up. And finally, Adelphi gets possession. Vizlaki, nice dish in front to Curran. No who goal. scores. No goal. It's off, uh, off sides. Adelphi was off sides. And I was watching the referee. I looked back. I counted only two defenders. The defenseman brought the ball across as we get a look at the replay, which will be disallowed. This goal is disallowed anyway. So Ray Buckley, our referee, on top of that play, Tom. Absolutely. They were counting heads. The defender ran across midfield with the ball, and then the refs automatically looked back and count the number of people back. He saw a goalie and two defensemen, and that's it. Tech back on offense. Here's Karanakis. He breaks into the zone and then slows it down. We're under three minutes to go in the second. Tech trailing by one to Adelphi. Karanakis still has the ball. Karanakis now goes out wide. That pass is knocked away. Nice job defensively by Rich Vizlaki. Got to stick in there, perfect time to check, just as the ball's arriving. Two and a half to go in the second quarter. Adelphi seven, New York Tech six, but Adelphi is back on the attack. Vizlaki, he's chased by three bears, has it knocked away by Why Not? Why Not to Joe Brock, one on one, and then Brock slows it down and waits for help. Smart move by Brock. Absolutely, absolutely. The scoring pace has slowed down here in the second quarter. Here's Rysanek. Rysanek is a save by Grismer. And they flip it back to Grismer. Grismer looking for the clear. And now he does ahead to Eugene Curran. Grismer has eight saves on the afternoon. Curran trying to find a fellow bear, a fellow panther, I should say, cross court. I think it was Charlie Flaherty he was trying to get it to. Flaherty fell down. Flaherty was proceeding towards the cage, and the ball was a little bit behind him, but he tried to apply the brakes. He lost his footing. A minute 49 left in the second. The home team Panthers up over the Bears, 7-6. Pretty good crowd, and now the sun's starting to come out just a little bit here at Stiles Field. Brian Gunn. Ahead to Bondariva, Greg Bondariva, the attackman. Bondariva has Matt Santini on him this time. Bondariva goes to work to Tempone. Tempone scores! Again, they use the play where they come from behind the cage, and now the Adelphi defenders are turning their back. Tempone is finding the crease to cut into. Tempone, as we watch the replay, he's noticed the Adelphi help coming over to stop Bondariva. And as soon as he pinches down, Tempone goes to the open area and presents his stick where he wants the pass to be thrown. And a nice quick stick past Grismer. Tempone ties it at 7-7. Seven and seven. We're down to 120 left. Here's Adelphi on the rush. And the player drops the ball. That was Picone, but it's kept in bounds by Ross. Here's Pete Friedman. Friedman is double teamed and has to give it up. Mike Mangan. Mangan looking to get his own shot. And that shot stopped by War. War gets it ahead to David Grace. Grace is knocked down at midfield. We've got a whistle. Okay, the call there, as we can hear the official from about 65 yards away, is that there was interference on the goalie as he tried to clear it. That's why Tech will take possession at midfield. A good New York Tech contingent on hand here this afternoon, Tommy. Basically, everything left of the press box there is New York Tech fans. Tech in the blue moves from right to left. We're down to 48 seconds left in the second. Tech looking to go up before halftime. Jeff Rice Sanek 
Now works his way behind the goal. Stops. Cuts. Rysanek still with the ball. Bondariva unleashes one. It goes wide. Rebound to Tech. Rysanek loses it. And it's scooped up by Adelphi. Adelphi with the long clear ahead to Pete Friedman. Friedman gets the ground ball. And his pass is knocked away in front. We've got a penalty flag down. Brian Hennon took a gamble on that play and paid for it. He tried to intercept the pass. The ball got past him, and Adelphi had a fast break. Hennon running hell-bent after the play, comes up with the slash in the last nine seconds of the half. So we came into this game anticipating a close matchup, Tommy. It can't get any closer than 7-7 with just nine seconds left in the first half. Let's see if Adelphi can capitalize on the man-up situation with nine seconds left. Friedman is taking too much time, and they won't get a shot off. As that's the end of the first half, with the score tied at seven, Tom and I will be back with the second half and all the action right after this. This is NYIT Television Sports. And nothing gets me. talk about the history of the series welcome back to Styles Field on the Adelphi Garden City campus for the championship game in men's lacrosse division two Mike Trezza and Tommy Judge on hand this afternoon to bring you the action and Tom the first half this afternoon was very much a game of runs absolutely we noted earlier that Tech jumped out to a 2-0 lead and then the Delphi came back and scored four consecutive goals since then, the pace has slowed down. There were nine goals scored in the first quarter, only five in the second quarter. For yep. Tech, Tempone leads the way with three goals. Brock has two. And for Adelphi, Mangan has four goals. Now, you mentioned the slowing down of the scoring in the second quarter, Tom. Do you feel that's going to advantage New York Tech in the second half? Well, it, it's the best of both worlds for both teams because Tech has realized that they can find openings in the Adelphi defense if they are patient when they go behind the cage and come around the cage with the ball making an aggressive play as Adelphi steps down to help out Tech now has found cutters specifically Tempone scored back-to-back -back goals on that backdoor play and he missed on a, on a third try right there towards the end and that's the offense that Adelphi uses I look for a more patient game much later in the day now what adjustments do you anticipate New York Tech coach Jack Kelly making defensively to start the second half oh just be more aware of where the cutters are coming from I think that if the defenders see the ball and their man or their area when they're in the zone then they're going to be much quicker reacting. And we saw that starting to happen later in the first half. And War himself was quicker reacting to the cross field passes. He had 10 saves in the first half. Grismer had eight saves in the first half. Adelphi had many more shots on goal. In just 30 minutes of playing time, we're gonna have a national champion as play is underway. Adelphi in the home white moves from right to left here in the third quarter of play. The New York Tech Bears in the blue uniforms with the white and yellow trim will go from left to right in the third. Score is tied at seven to start the third quarter of play. Adelphi Curran, Curran with a shot that goes in. Wow, he beat War to his stick side. Eugene Curran the hometown boy from right here in Garden City has just beat Adam War and put Adelphi up 8-7 to seven to open the scoring here in the third. The 6-foot, 185-pound sophomore with 10 goals on the year blasted that lefty shot right past the stick of the left-handed catching and throwing War. Fastigi on the faceoff for New York Tech working against Anthony Pacone. Both teams digging. 
White push, and New York Tech is going to get possession of the ball. Mike, Mark Mangan assisted on that last goal by Eugene Curran. Here's Anthony Torino on the offense for Tech. Nice feed to why not? Why not? Over the shoulder pass to Tempone. Tempone shot goes wide. Interesting call to see where this ball is staying. Oh, it is staying with Tech. Adelphi had men behind the cage, but Tech ran after it a lot faster. Just under one minute has gone by here in the third quarter of play. The teams were tied at seven at halftime. Adelphi has jumped out to an eight to seven lead as we've got a little more sun coming out here at Stiles Field. Gavin Wynott with possession of the ball for the Bears. Wynott is guarded by James Gillis. Joe Brock behind to Fastigi. Fastigi couldn't get the pass off in time. Fastigi with the spin move as he's guarded by Sean McCormick. Fastigi gets it to Karanikis. Karanikis can't get the shot cranked up. He forced that pass inside there, but they had been previously very patient, which is a good sign for Tech. Karanik is still trying to get the ground ball, and finally Fastigi comes over and gets it from between his legs. Jay Fastigi throws it back behind to Joey Brock, and Brock uh, this time is guarded by the All-America Low Miller. Brock with the spin move now goes to work. Brock gets the shot off. Grismer turns him away. Ball still loose in front. It hits Brock on the head and is still loose. It's knocked past the end line. Actually, doesn't go past the end line. Brock keeps it in. Fabulous job by Joe Brock. Excellent hustle on both teams' parts. Fastigi now working against Lowmuller. Fastigi with the spin move, loses his footing, then regains it. Across to Gavin, why not? Why not bounces one. He's saved by Grismer. Excellent ball, ba uh, man ball play, excuse me, on that situation with the loose ball out near the restraining line. Why not went for the man and Bondariva went for the ball. Torino with a bounce shot over the top of the crossbar, past the end line. Again, Tech keeps the ball. I like New York Tech's patience. They're making the Delphi work very hard, and they're taking their time looking for the open cutter, even though they're not working the ball around the outside. There's just keeping it one-on-one. -on -one. Good point, Tom, as New York Tech has had the ball for now two minutes consecutively. Karanikis working against Curran. Karanikis sets up up top to why not? Why not with the shot? Saved by Grismer, rebounds in front. Still loose, and finally Adelphi gets possession and sends it ahead to Steve Albrecht. Albrecht gets it ahead to Rob Grella. Grella holds it up and waits for help. Grella on the move to the right. You can actually hear the Adelphi players talking to one another, saying, slow it down, take it easy. Brad Ross with the ball. Ross. Puts a move on Karanikis, puts the shot on goal, War turns him away. Ross, back up top to Vizlaki. Vizlaki sends it far side to Pete Friedman. Friedman has it poked away from him, and Adam War, the tech goalie, scoops it up. War was superb on that previous play, getting his body over to stop that shot on the fast-breaking Adelphi player. Jay Fastigi on the far side now moves into the zone against Flaherty. Fastigi tries to set up in front. Good defense that time by Adelphi as the ball is still loose in front of the Adelphi goal. There's a battle for it, and Brock comes away with it. Brock! Scores! Outstanding shot. 
Grismer thought he had it, and the ball bounced off either his shoulder or the stick and into the narrow side of the cage. What, not, a, what a shot by Brock. Not one defender between Joe Brock and the cage. Here you see the loose ball. As Brock picks it up, he goes right for the cage. He's got the narrow side, the short side. He even makes it a more difficult angle, and he bounces it off the helmet of Grismer. Joe Brock with an unassisted goal for New York Tech at just about the 10 minute mark of the third quarter has pulled this game even once again at eight apiece. David Grace this time on the faceoff, he loses it to Anthony Picone. Picone has taken just about every faceoff for Adelphi this afternoon. Ahead to Vizlaki. Behind the goal to Mark Mangan. Far side to Friedman, up top to Picone. Here's Grella. Grella hasn't gotten a lot of shots off this afternoon. Adelphi likes working the ball around the horn, keeping the Tech players moving. Grella with a nice dish in front, but Friedman can't keep it on his stick. It's loose in front, and Adam War clears the zone for New York Tech. Very risky play by Gunn to bring the ball back to War like that in front of the cage. Almost got away. Here's the speedy Rob Brown. He breaks into the zone and then pulls it out. Rob Brown's speed was never more in evidence than on that winning goal against CW Post two weeks ago. He took the ball the length of the field and set up Gavin Wynott for the winning goal what a tremendous finish to that game. Bryce Sanek still with the ball behind the Adelphi goal. Bryce Sanek working against Viz Lockey. Sends it up top to Rob Brown. Now across to Why Not. Why Not? Two spins. Can't get the shot off. He's knocked down. We've got a penalty. Play continues. Why Not? He'd be wise to get a shot off. He tries to bounce okay. one in front. It's knocked away by an Adelphi defender, and we've got a penalty upcoming. Aaron Noon was the Adelphi player who hit Why Not in the head as he was slipping. Seems some of the players are slipping a lot more. Excuse me, it was Eugene Curran. Why Not had all the time in the world. He did not need to force that play, but. Tech has a man up situation right here and they're looking very good. Nice and patient on the offense. Again, the sun's starting to peek through the clouds here at Stiles Field. We're tied at eight apiece, eight minutes to go in the third. So Tech with the man up situation, they need to take advantage of it, Tom. Why not? To Fastigi, Fastigi back behind the goal to Joe Brock. Tech showing good patience. Brock with a nice feed in front, and Tech scores. Looks like Jay Pearson came around the cage on the right side. The 5'10", 170-pound midfielder from West Islip snuck in there and got the ball very low. Grismer beaten underneath. And who else on the assist once again but Joe Brock? As we see Pearson coming around the cage, Grismer sees him playing possum, going high, coming down low. We've seen that time and time again. That's about the fifth or sixth goal that we've seen from in close where the offensive guy has had enough time to fake the high shot. So Pearson gets into the act with his first goal of the game, assisted by Joe Brock, and Tech is back on top, nine to eight, seven and a half to play in the third. Hopkins gains possession for the Bears, gives it up cross field for Jim Droge. Droge looking for help, now gets it to Torino. Torino, it skips off his stick, but he gathers it. Droge gets off to the sideline, allow Tech to balance up. That's what we're waiting for right here. Ian Karanikis comes in from the far side. Fastigi. Has the ball for the Bears on the near side. 
Now back behind the goal to Why Not. Why Not makes his break. Gets off the shot. He scores! A one-handed diving shot. As soon as he got around that 45-degree angle, he knew that if he stuck his stick out and just flicked it, he had an open cage on the wide side of Grismer. And look at the defenders from Adelphi. If we can get a shot there, they're sitting with their hands on their hips. Okay, we have the ball coming behind the cage over here. And here's Why Not. One-handed. He's got the check. Boom! Grismer is beaten. New York Tech is coming to life. And we've got a timeout. New York Tech back on top by a pair. They lead 10 to 8. We'll be back with more action in just a minute. Welcome back to Styles Fields at Adelphi University. These two teams have a history, Tommy. Absolutely. Adelphi leads the all-time series 7-3. to three. However, Tech has won three of the last four. The last meeting on April 6th that we mentioned in the early part of the broadcast had Adelphi breaking Tech's 16-game winning home winning streak. Vastigi won the faceoff for New York Tech. And the ball goes past the sideline, and it goes back over to the Panthers of Adelphi. This is Adelphi's 11th NCAA tournament appearance and their third straight NCAA championship great game. Last year, they lost to Springfield, and the year before that, they beat Post. And they've won all four of their championships during odd years. Mike, is that a little ominous, do you think? So, Adelphi is in the championship game, as Tom mentions, for the third consecutive year. New York Tech is in it for the second time in four years, so both of these teams have managed to stay near the top of NCAA Division II, thanks to Sandy Capitos, the Adelphi coach, and Jack Cayley, the coach of the New York Tech Bears. Play continues in the neutral zone. Pacone, Pacone bounces a shot. A nice save by Adam War. Great defensive help by Fastigi there, coming from behind to help to deflect the shot. Adam War dumps it off for Joe Brock, and Joe Brock has Tempone ahead. Oh, Tempone couldn't control it. Vizlaki back the other way. Vizlaki looking to get it to Grella. It skips past his stick, but stays in play. Now knocked out of bounds past the end line, and New York Tech goes back on offense. And Brian Gunn, all six foot three, 235 pounds of him, scared the daylights out of the Adelphi player who was just standing there. That's why that ball is going back to Tech. That's Rob Grella, the player you mentioned, Tom, is his best friend. We've got the ball going back over to New York Tech, but just to mention that, Brian Gunn started at Adelphi and transferred over to New York Tech, and Rob Grella, conversely, started at New York Tech and transferred here to Adelphi. Best friends couldn't stay on the team long enough with one another, huh? But now they get the opportunity to go head-to-head -head against one another, one an attackman, the other a defenseman. Here's Rob Brown, Brown to Tempone. That's turned away by Grismer. Rough play right in front of the Adelphi goal to the right of Grismer. New York Tech with the push, sends the ball back over to the Panthers. The intensity is picking up on the field. We're able to hear the players more clearly. They're getting very, very excited as we're coming down to the end of this uh, NCAA Division II championship game. We talked about it being a game of runs, Tom. So Tech, after giving up the first goal of the half, has now scored three consecutively. Here's Adelphi, that shot skips to the right of Adam War. War is after it, but no need as Tech gets the ball back. And Grismer tried for an assist. Rob Grella has basically been shut down throughout the afternoon, so the Bears have done a nice job defensively on Adelphi's main man. Here's Jeff Rysanek on the near side. Rysanek is knocked off the play by Vizlaki, but Rysanek still with possession. Now behind the Adelphi goal. Tech going back to the patient offense. It's been working for them in the second half. Notice how Adelphi has three defenders right in front of the crease, and yet there aren't that many Tech players. They're spreading the offense out a little more. 4.15 left in the third. The weather continues to get nicer throughout the afternoon. Joe Brock still with possession. He's knocked down, gets back up. Joe Brock.
Brock still with possession. Working against Cruciani now. Brock gets it to Bondariva. He can't control. Jeff Rysanek does. Rysanek looking to spin away from the defender. Rysanek with the shot that goes wide of Grismer. The referees are starting to talk to both teams. Let the cutter go through, lay off the head. Doing a wonderful job with this game tonight. Here's why not. Why not? Nice dish in front to Tempone. Over the shoulder shot, no good. Rebound goes to Rysanek. His shot is a save by Grismer. And Grismer gets it ahead to Sean McCormick. McCormick across the field to Rich Vizlaki. Vizlaki breaks into the offensive zone. He dumps it off to Eugene Curran. Curran puts it into the corner for Rob Grella. Grella behind the net to Mark Mangan. Mangan around the horn to Friedman. Now back up top to Eugene Curran. Adelphi is going to have to be patient on the offense, but they've got to make something happen. Curran working against Fastigi, looking to lose him. He can't shake him. Curran gives it up for Vizlaki. Far side to Friedman. Behind the goal to Mark Mangan. Mangan now working against Hopkins. Mangan scoops one in on the ground. Outstanding shot. Mangan was behind the cage. He saw three or four cutters go through the lane. However, the Tech players, the defenders, were right with them, so there was no pass there. He had to take matters into his own hands. That's just an unstoppable play right there. When a left-handed player comes around from that side of the cage, he's got the whole cage to work with. Not the short side, not the long side. The, the goalie is actually at his width. And that's goal number five for Mangan on the day. And that cuts the New York Tech lead to 10 to nine. We're approaching the two minute to play mark in the third quarter of play. This game has delivered on all the promise so far. Pacone. Gets it to Pete Friedman on the far side. Friedman now works his way behind the goal. Gives it up to Mark Mangan. Mangan near side to Rob Grella. Grella sends it back up top. This time to Brad Ross. Ross looking to make his move. And he can't get anywhere. Has to dump it off to Friedman. Friedman looking to find the cutter in front. Finally he does. Nice save by Adam War. Adam War with an all out effort gets that ball back for the Bears. Absolutely, he is much more aware of Adelphi's desire to throw the cross field pass. That time he shut down Mangan. Fastigi has the ball at midfield for the Bears on the far side. A minute 15 to go in the third. New York Tech up 10 to nine over Adelphi. Fastigi with a couple spins now gives it up for Rice Sanic on the far side. Jeff Rice Sanic on the move to his left. Cruciani comes over to defend him. It's a mismatch size wise with Rice Sanic and Cruciani. Cruciani at 6 1, Rice Sanic goes about 5 6. Near side it comes to Gavin Why Not, who dumps it off to Karanikis. Karanikis works his way behind the goal being guarded by Eugene Curran. Karanikis, the senior, one of the co-captains, dishes off to Why Not. Why Not is on the move. Tries to turn around and fire, and instead a penalty flag comes in. New York Tech's gonna go on the man up. Credit Why Not for creating that penalty. He ran right into the heart of three Adelphi players, and he got caught on the head. So New York Tech will enjoy another man up situation. Cruciani is going to go off for one minute for that penalty, so that penalty may carry over into the fourth quarter. We've got 26 seconds left in the third quarter of play, and New York Tech on the man-up situation already has the lead at 10-9 over Adelphi. Bondariva is in for the power play. Cruciani's in the penalty box talking to the referee, the CBO, wondering what's going on. Shot in front from Tempone. Tempone scores the goal. And the feed from Dro Joe Brock behind the cage again. That is an absolute outstanding play for New York Tech. 
Joe Brock is a 1996 All-American for the first team. And you see him behind the cage here, looking for a cutter. Gets it on the high side. Tempone with the stick right where he wanted the ball to be. Brock hit him. Perfect play. Joe Brock came into this game with 46 assists to lead the country in that category. And New York Tech is back on top by two goals at 11 to nine. Just 16 seconds left in the third quarter. So this faceoff is gonna be critical and it's won by Steve Albrecht of Adelphi. Illegal procedure on tech. Brian Hannon with the interception for New York Tech. They wanna get one more shot off David Grace. Down to five seconds. Grace will have to fire. He falls down and they're not gonna get a shot off. He got it to Why Not at the last second, but not enough time for Gavin Why Not to fire up a good shot. Great quarter for New York Tech. They controlled the tempo throughout the whole quarter. They did what they wanted to do as the New York Tech contingency enjoys the action. There you get a look at our scoreboard. Tech on top, 11 to nine, heading into the final quarter. We're back with that right after this. Styles Field on Adelphi University's Garden City campus is the setting for today's championship game in men's Division II lacrosse. Mike Treza and Tommy Judge on hand to bring you the action. And Tom, New York Tech is 15 minutes away from their first championship of any kind in any sport. For the NCAA, absolutely right. They came close in 94 in the lacrosse championship. They lost to Springfield. And also in 1980, the men's basketball team as a matter of fact, the athletic director now at New York Institute of Technology, Clyde Darty, was on that basketball team that lost 70 to 64 to Virginia Union. Fourth quarter's underway. Fastigi wins the faceoff for Tech to Brock. Brock, nice setup to Tempone. Tempone can't control, and Adelphi takes it back. Just underway here, fourth quarter of play from Styles Field. Mike Treza, Tom Judge, New York Tech leads 11 to nine over Adelphi. Adelphi in the home white moves from left to right here in the fourth quarter of play. The Bears in the blue uniforms, white and yellow trim. Get over here. Get over here, Behind the goal, it goes to Mark Mangan. He's played a terrific game for the Adelphi University Panthers. Near side, it comes for Pete Friedman. He's their main assist man. Up top to Curran. Now to Friedman. Nice dish to Grella. Grella puts it in. Unbelievable stick work in traffic. Grella is the man on the inside right there. Just catching that pass was difficult enough. But to get the shot off in that traffic, we're going to have it for you right here. The pass goes inside, right past two Tech players in traffic. The fake and two more defenders, boom, past war. Nice Out. dish from Peter Friedman, the senior attackman, the main assist man, sets up Rob Grella, the main goal scorer, and that's the way you got to do it, Tom Judge. First goal on the afternoon for Grella. It's been long awaited for by Adelphi. David Grace wins the faceoff for Tech. It comes near side for Brock. Brock thought about the shot, then passed it up. He had two guys on him. They converged and fell down. Brock didn't take advantage of it. He was looking at a teammate cutting. Brock up top to Brown. Brown on the move to his right. 13.45 left in the game. Adelphi has just cut it to a 12-11 lead for the Bears. Greg Bondariva on the far side now has the ball for the Bears. He tries to get it across to Brock. Brock has to pursue it to get after it. Here's Rob Brown. Brown to Why Not. Why Not scores! Perfect position. Why Not went to the open space, and as the defense tried to converge on him, he split the defenders and had the goalie, Grismer, one-on-one. -on -one. And off the nifty dish by Rob Brown. Rob Brown had 16 assists on the year. We see the pass going in. Why not is on the left side of the cage as you're watching it. Boom, right in between. Outstanding positioning by Why Not. And New York Tech once again pads it to a two-goal lead. This time it's David Grace 
on the faceoff for the Bears. He's working against Steve Albrecht, number 14. Grace, nice effort as he's still after it. We've got a whistle. And the ball goes back over to the Bears. David Grace carries it in. Grace gives it up to Why Not near side. Now the Bears will look to take some time off the clock. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's the plan right here, to be patient. It's worked for them. They were helter-skelter in the beginning. Now they're much more confined within themselves. Getting a big rest right here. Jeff Rice Sanic, the senior, transfer from Farmingdale. Behind the Adelphi goal to Brown. Brown to Tempone. Tempone scores! Tempone now has five goals for the afternoon. And Rice Sanic and Tempone, Tom, missed the last game against Adelphi, and Adelphi seeing today what they can do. See Brown, that's the second assist in a row for Brown. Boom, the overhand lefty shot from Tempone, who wisely bounced the ball. And New York Tech now with a three goal lead. That's the largest lead for either team here this afternoon. And the New York Tech crowd, you see them to the left of the press box. They're loving it right now. Fastigi on the faceoff against Picone. Ball is still loose at midfield. It's scooped up by Flaherty for Delphi. Flaherty is on the move on the far side. Flaherty shakes off Hopkins. Now holds it up and waits for help. Flaherty across the field. There's a save in front by War. Jim Droge comes away with it for Tech. He finds Fastigi on the run. Fastigi to Torino. Torino tried to get it to Joe Brock. Brock is saying it went off of Delphi, and he's jumping up and down to try to accentuate his point. A couple of Adelphi players went on sportsmanlike conduct on Brock for the way he acted, pointing to him. But no penalty on the play. Adelphi does take over possession. Cruciani carries it in. Cruciani with a nice setup. And that goal is scored by Pete Friedman. Friedman was in an isolation play. He's all by himself. After he received the pass, War was at his mercy. Friedman faked the low shot and then came back up high. We'll see him here. Watch War react to the fake low. You'll understand how difficult it is to be a goalie. Boom! He gave the little inclination that he was going to go low and then went uptown with it. Now it's New York Tech 13, Adelphi 11, but you can hear the Tech crowd ch chanting, let's go Tech, as the sun comes out a little bit more. The sun will be shining on Jack Kelly and his New York Tech Bears if they can pull off this game today. Curran, Curran is doubled, has to give it up. Nice ball movement, that blistering shot that time. Sails high and wide, it came from Grella. Adelphi has su significant distance in between the offensive players. That's why it's very hard for Tech to react because the ball is going to move a lot faster than any one of the defender's feet. CW Post, Tom, was number one throughout the year. They lost to both Adelphi and New York Tech, which pushed them out of the championship game. The three, go the three games against number one, two, and three were decided by a total of four goals. Ball is loose in front. War turns it away, but Adelphi keeps possession. We've got a whistle that stops play. And New York Tech is going to regain possession of the ball. Now, Friedman, Peter Friedman, was checked into the crease, and the referee didn't see that he was checked into there. Brian Hennen, near side at midfield, gives it up for Bondariva. Bondariva carries it into the offensive zone. Ten forty left to go in this game. New York Tech with a 13-11 lead over Adelphi. New York Tech lost to Adelphi 17-16 back on April 6th. 
Bondariva couldn't find anybody in front and pulled it back behind. Rob Brown on the run to his right. Brown better be careful. He was called earlier for warding off on that play. It almost happened again. He just didn't make contact with the defensive player. Now the ball's in the good hands of Joe Brock. Brock with a spin move behind, looking to set up in front. Good and patience. There was nothing there, Mike. Pull it back out and start it all over again. Joe Brock, the senior co-captain, has that right. That's why he's an All-American last year and will be an All-American this year, too. Brock to Bondariva. Bondariva puts it in. New York Tech is taking control of this game offensively through their patience and the experience of Joe Brock behind the cage. Joe Brock to Bondariva puts New York Tech up by three once again. We're a little late getting back to that. Obviously, Bondariva went back door again. Somewhere along the line, Coach Kelly and his staff told the Tech players that when they penetrate and the defense pinches, you've got to go back door because nobody's watching you. So Bondariva, the junior out of East Meadow, is into the act. But Adelphi is back the other way quickly. Can't get the shot off, and Brian Gunn takes it away for Tech. Gunn gets it ahead to Fastigi. Fastigi looking to break into the zone, and now Joe Brock warns him to slow it down. Once again, smart move by the senior captain. 14-11 with over nine minutes left to play. They're going to be very, very patient here, play their style of game. Adelphi is going to have to come to them sooner or later. As we mentioned, New York Tech, two of their top attackmen were out. Last time they played Adelphi, they lost that game five weeks ago, 17-16. New York Tech beat CW Post two weeks ago, and Adelphi beat CW Post by one in overtime last week. Brock to Karanakis. Karanakis puts it in. And a penalty to boot. Joe Brock is showing the 1,000-plus people here at Stiles Field exactly why he is an All-American. See him behind the cage. There was nothing on his first play. And then he stays with it, and Karanakis puts the ball home. New York Tech now on top, 15-11. to 11. Adelphi's got to get the offense in gear, Tom, and get it in gear in a hurry, or New York Tech is going to walk away with a championship on Adelphi's home field. That's right, and Adelphi has a, an outstanding winning percentage on their home field here. Their winning percentage is 708 at home in Capato, Capato's uh, tenure here. New York Tech up by four goals. They're loving it here at Stiles Field. We're back with more action in just a moment. Styles Field at Adelphi University's Garden City campus, now on a sunny Saturday afternoon, is the setting for today's championship game in men's lacrosse, Division II, New York Tech, now with their biggest lead of the game, 15-11 over Adelphi. And completely controlling the second half. We just got a shot of the New York Tech Bear mascot, and he's getting the New York Tech crowd pumped as they've got their biggest lead of the game, and they've got possession of the ball once again. Jay Fastigi moves in, gets it to Karanikis. Now back to Fastigi, near side. Back behind to Brock. 8.30 left in this game. Bondariva bounces one. Brock gets the rebound to Karanikis. Karanikis scores! Almost too easy on that one. Everybody was expecting that the first shot was going to go out of bounds. Brock backed it up. New York Tech is in celebration mode. However, let's not underestimate this. Adelphi overreacts and leaving the free cutter, Karanikis. He went to the open place. That's so smart. All the defenders had their back to him. Go to the open spot. Score the goal. New York Tech now up 16 to 11. We're down under eight and a half minutes to go in this game. A near capacity crowd on hand to witness this championship event. David Grace has the ball for Tech. Sends it back behind to Gavin, why not? Why not has played a good game here this afternoon.
the referee right now is explaining to the players on the Delphi that they cannot start calling the plays themselves. They're yelling, pushing from behind, pushing from behind, telling the referees what to call. Referees seizing control of the action. A little bit of frustration maybe coming into play for the Panthers, Tom. Rysanek with the ball for the Bears behind the Adelphi goal. The New York Tech attack unit has played a wonderful game here this afternoon. Rysanek. Gets off the shot and puts it through. Charisma was flat out beaten on that. I think the ball went right between his legs or just to the left of his leg. Grismer's got to keep his head up, keep his team in the game here. There's a six goal gap right now. There's seven minutes left. Lysana coming around the side. Grismer is in good position. Lysana just turns and fires down low. Seven and a half left, and New York Tech now up by six goals, 17-11. Rysanek with an unassisted goal. He's played a good game here this afternoon. Jay Fastig, he comes away with possession for the Bears, sends it across to the near side for Gavin Why not? Why not to Torino? Torino's turned away by Grismer. Rebound. Comes to Adelphi, goes past the end line, and I think Adelphi may get this ball. No, they're saying it stays with Tech. Yes, there's a Tech player back there. Tampone at six foot two is, has been using his height all day long, and Adelphi has not been able to stop him from catching the ball or shooting it. He has five goals for the afternoon. Under seven minutes to play. Joe Brock, the Tech captain, with the ball. Gives it up for why not? Why not? Has Gillis on him. <laughs> Delphi's got to do something to try to get this ball away from Tech, Tom. They're eating up huge chunks of time here. But Delphi's going to have to do something. Here we see the double team coming right now. Now there's a man open for Tech in front. Couldn't find him. And the gamble pays off as Adelphi gets the ball away from Tech. Exactly. You called it right at the right time. Adelphi did have to make a move. Let's see what they do here. Ball is stolen by Tempone. Tempone has got the numbers. He dishes to Brock, and Brock is turned away by Grismer. Rebounds loose in front to the left of Grismer. And... I did not see the call. The ball will be going for Adelphi. Now Tech did not have to bring that ball all the way in. Brock had a close on shot. However, they have been very patient in, in the second half here. Exciting New York Tech break was ignited by the steal by Steve Tempone. Tempone has played a good game here this afternoon. Five goals for the afternoon. I'd say quite a good game in this championship contest. Curran, with possession for Adelphi, weaves his way through. Can't get the shot away. Adelphi's after it on the far sideline, and New York Tech gets possession back. Brian Hedden with the persistence in the corner, checked the ball out of Adelphi's sticks. The clouds once again come out to cover Stiles Field, but Jack Caley and his Bears are five and a half minutes away from the first championship at New York Tech in any sport at any time. Adelphi has won four championships in men's lacrosse, the most recent two years ago in 95. Rob Brown with the ball for Tech into the offensive zone. Brown still on the move with the ball behind the net. Rysanek will come out to near midfield to chase it down. We're under five minutes to play. Rysanek with possession on the far side for the Bears.
Rysanek went to make the move but left the ball behind. And didn't even know it at first. Rich Vizlaki breaks into the zone for Adelphi. Nice feed to Friedman. Friedman's shot is knocked away in front. Good defense by Brian Gunn. Friedman gets it back behind the goal to Mangan. Adelphi keeps the ball. I'm, I'm watching Brian Gunn right now. He's much more intense than he was in the first part of the game. He, sh he shifted over to stop that shot from a good 10, 15 yards away. Outstanding play. Here's Rob Grella. Nice feed. What a save by Adam War. That shot came from Brad Ross, 26, and Adam War saved it for the Bears. Bondariva has the ball at midfield for New York Tech. Bondariva tried to find Joe Brock on the run, and the ball is going to go back over to the Panthers. His pass is just a little bit behind him. With uh, under four minutes left, Tech can afford a turnover right now, but you don't want to get too careless. Please stay with us at the conclusion of this game. Tom and I will have post-game interviews with the winners. Grella, desperation time. He sends it past the end line, and the ball goes back over to Tech. New York Tech is not letting up one moment. Defensively, the intensity has been there from the opening whistle. Brian Hennon loses it for a moment, picks it back up, gives it off to Rob Brown. 3.15 left in the game. New York Tech up by half a dozen, 17 to 11. Rob Brown looking for Brock in front. Ball is knocked away by Adelphi's defense. He tried to force that pass in there. Grismer got a stick in between. Ball is knocked out of bounds here on the near side, right in front of us by Greg Bondariva, and Adelphi is going to regain possession. And even three minutes to go in the fourth quarter of play from here at Stiles Field in Garden City on the Adelphi campus, Mike Trezza and Tommy Judge witnessing a historic event as Tech will probably get their first championship in their athletic careers. Rob Grella sends the shot wide, but Adelphi keeps the ball. The trophy will look good in the showcase. I'm sure athletic director Clyde Dowdy will be very happy about that. They tried to get it to Grella. It goes past his stick. Adelphi tries to keep it in the zone, but it's scooped up by Rob Brown. Rob Brown, one of the better players on ground balls, and he has no trouble picking that one up and sending it ahead to Gavin Why Not. Why Not with the spin move. Why Not looking to uncork the shot. Gives it to Tempone. Tempone scores again! That's going to be the final nail in the coffin of the Adelphi Panthers. Steve Tempone with his sixth goal of the afternoon. So, sometimes you're very good and sometimes you're very lucky. We're going to see it right here as Tempone gets the loose ball. Why not? Just throws it and it goes right to Tempone. Takes that overhand shot. Very, for you young lacrosse players out there, notice what Tempone does. At six foot two, you might think he wanted to shoot high all day long because he's up there already. He's bouncing the ball. And whether it's a wet field or a dry field, the ball does not come up consistently the same way, time after time. And it's driven Grismer crazy as Tempone has six goals for the day. 2.15 left to play. New York Tech now up 18 to 11. Desperation time for the Panthers. That shot is blocked in front. Once again, good defense in front of the net by the New York Tech Bears. They come away with it. Gavin Why Not has the ball. He breaks into the offensive zone. Torino with possession for the Bears. We're under two minutes to go. And why not pull the ball back out wisely? Didn't have to show up anybody on Adelphi right there. A shot in front from Torino is knocked away. It's Grismer's eighth save in the second half. He has 16 for the day. Ross 
to Flaherty. Flaherty with a low shot. War doesn't know where it is. And finally he picks it up off the ground and gives it up to Brian Gunn on the near side. War has eight saves for the second half and 18 for the afternoon. Karatikas loses the ball and his stick. We're down to a minute 10 to play. The Tech crowd goes crazy as we meet as we reach the one minute mark. They're up by seven goals and they know that they're going to come away with a championship. We have a shot of the Tech's bench if we can get coach Jack Kelly on the Tech bench. He was just doused the old Gatorade over his back. Luckily it's not the middle of winter or else he'd be uh, you know regretting that. Jack Kelly in his fifth season there he is right in the middle of your screen here at New York Tech has just reached the apex of his coaching career he gets a hug from one of his assistants Pete Friedman with possession for Adelphi tries to find the teammate balls loose in front of the Tech goal scooped up by Droge Droge ahead to Hennon he overshoots Jay Pearson past the end line and Adelphi is going to get one last final chance to score. We're under 30 seconds. And the Tech bench has commenced its celebration. And the crowd is on its feet. We expected a very close game this afternoon, Tom, and it was for a half. But here in the second half, New York Tech just started pulling away. And you touched on the reason why. Tampone played this game. He didn't play the uh, April 6th game. Big, big difference. Down to 15 seconds. Ball is loose and we've got a penalty flag coming in. Jim Droge called for tripping on the play and push from behind. Two points that need to be made. First of all, Tempone, obviously. Steve Tempone did not play the first game. Scored six goals today. And the senior from Nassau Community College in Belmore High School has just been outstanding in today's game. Also, the defense has shut down Rob Grella to one goal. Grella, obviously player of the year last year. Friedman, one last ditch attempt. Ball is knocked away in front. Five seconds. <laughs> New York Tech is the champion of men's lacrosse division two enjoy this moment jack Kelly and the new york tech bears it comes but once in a lifetime If we're going to cast a vote for player of the game, my vote goes to Steve Tempone with an asterisk because Joe Brock carried the team offensively and controlled the pace. And we see Coach Jack Kelly in amongst the players celebrating. There's the Bear mascot. He's loving it. And so's the New York Tech contingent in the crowd. New York Tech upsets Adelphi, the number one team in the nation. Tech came in at number two. But they did a thorough job here, especially in the second half, Tom, of trouncing the Panthers of Adelphi by a final score of 18 to 11. Adelphi put a scare into New York Tech in the first quarter, Mike, when they scored those four consecutive goals. Tech obviously opened up with the first two goals of the game that we mentioned earlier. Adelphi with four consecutive goals. Tech had to make some adjustments, and they did defensively. The defenders were sliding to cover the gaps much quicker and keeping an eye on the cutter. Outstanding game coaching. Sometimes coaching happens in the practice where you get the players all set, but you also have to make adjustments. That's why there's halftime as we see the Adelphi players. You know, Adelphi came in, Tommy, averaging about 16 goals a game, giving up only eight. So we've got to give a lot of credit to the starters defensively for New York Tech Bears, namely the two Bryans, Brian Gunn and Brian Hennon, along with the freshman, Adam Hopkins. Hopkins was shaky at the beginning, came up big in the second half. And what about the New York Tech goalie, Adam War, with an outstanding game for the Bears? Unofficially, I have Adam War down with 18 saves for the afternoon. 
quite an outstanding day for Adam Moore. His counterpart did not have quite the same day, although Grismer, to his credit, was one-on-one -on -one with an awful lot of New York Tech players. Grismer is an All-American. Adam Moore de deserves some sort of uh, recognition for today's game. You and I talked about it at the outset and also mentioned it throughout the game that post Adelphi and New York Tech came in so close to each other as far as the one, two, and three ranking. New York Tech beat, Adelph uh, beat Post by two goals. New York Tech lost to Adelphi by one goal. Adelphi beat Post by one goal. So one, two, and three were basically separated by four goals in three games. Yes, very, very good point there. And the best thing about it is that this rivalry will continue to grow in amongst these three schools. Their proximity, obviously New York Tech and CW Post are about a half mile apart in Old Westbury and Brookville. And Adelphi is just 10 minutes down the road in Garden City. Outstanding game. You see the players on both teams shaking hands. There's a lot of respect going on on the field towards the end of the game. There's no cheap shots, no back talking to officials. Both teams should be very proud of themselves. Adelphi can keep their heads held high. They tried very hard. Tech was just the better team this afternoon. You make a great point there, Tom. Too many times, I hate to pontificate, but too many times it seems that sportsmanship gets lost in the battle for number one. And Adelphi showed a lot of class. Sandy Capitos and his crew showing a lot of class down the stretch by not going with cheap shots or trying to draw New York Tech into a fight or an altercation of any sort. A lot of good sportsmanship being shown as a lot of congratulations and good wishes going back and forth each way. Gives us a chance to tell you that this telecast has been a presentation of the New York Institute of Technology and a reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written permission of the New York Institute of Technology is strictly, absolutely, and most certainly prohibited. The director of NYIT Television Sports this afternoon is Arthur Ezea Budagian. Our producer this afternoon is John, a boy named Sukoff. Our technical director was Paul Ragasano. Audio by Lou Ruxer. Our VTR operator was Don Kim. Our cameramen were Mano a Mano, John Carano, along with Brad Gersten, Andre the Giant Duke, and our stage manager, Dawn Knock Three Times Bino. Our other crew members are Ki Yong Choi, Larry, Roger, and Wilco. Near Weiss, our chief engineer is Herb Saverin. The department chair of communication arts at NYIT is Jim Falvel. And our executive producer, as always, is Arthur Budagian. We've got the award ceremony underway, and let's send it down to our PA announcer. Well, you see the Adelphi players there on your screen, Tom, being introduced and congratulated. Naturally, they're disappointed, but they did give a good effort here this afternoon. They've got nothing to be ashamed of and certainly nothing to hang their heads about. Absolutely. When they scored those four consecutive goals in the first quarter, they had New York Tech on the back of their heels, leaning backwards. They said, what are we going to do here? As a matter of fact, there were a couple of our contingency by that, I mean the crew who were wondering what was going on with Tech in the beginning. But Jack Kelly, his staff, regrouped the team. They kept their patience. They changed the focus of their offensive desire as what they were going to do. They held the ball. Instead of just penetrating one-on-one -on -one and the one guy take the shot, they penetrated, dished the ball off to a teammate. Adelphi had a perimeter offensive game where they worked the ball around until there was an open cutter, basically lulling New York Institute of Technology into a trance watching the ball, and then all of a sudden, boom, a backdoor cutter will spring free. Tech adjusted defensively, and then they were able to overcome. But their patience on offense and their intensity on defense is what won that championship today for the New York Institute of Technology Bears. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and come back and watch New York Tech get their awards in just one moment.
York Tech Bears, first ever championship in any sport. They're the victors today, 18 to 11 over Adelphi, and the New York Tech Bear award ceremony has just begun. Rob Brown and Joe Brock, they're going in numerical order, Tommy, but Brown and Brock were a big part of this championship here this afternoon. Especially Joe Brock, the way he controlled the tempo of the game. When New York Tech really, really needed a direction, a focus, if you will, he took the matters into his own hands. At times, he looked like he was going to force a play, and then yet he just merely pulled the ball back out and waited for the next cutter. Patience. The play you just saw limping onto the field with the knee braces, Kevin Reardon. He's a senior. He had knee surgery on Wednesday. Didn't get a chance to play in today's game it's got to be a little bit of a disappointment to Kevin but he's got to be feeling the same elation as his teammates knowing that he helped them get here sure he's sore from the knee surgery but he's not sore in the shoulders from the contact for today's game New York Tech players being introduced one by one and showing a lot of emotion as they're introduced as they certainly have every right to do Tom that was big Brian Gunn you can see him towering over his teammates at 6'3", 235. And he Brian is the Gunn. biggest member, Brian Gunn is, yes. He did a great job against his best friend, Rob Grella, helping the New York Tech Bears shut down Grella. Grella, 1996, player of the year in Division II lacrosse, was not much of a factor in today's game at all. As a matter of fact, the scoring for Adelphi came from number 23, Mark Mangan from Australia. He had five goals on the afternoon and took up much of the scoring slack. Is Tom Reardon, the sports information director, getting his award. The trainer, Dean Camvacus, who's been with the tech program for a long time, Indira, our assistant AD, and Clyde Dowdy, the athletic director here at New York Tech. That's got to feel awfully good for him as well, Tom. Uh, especially, it's uh, 17 years worth of uh, pent-up frustrations from that loss that he had in, back in 1980 when Kelvin Hicks, an All-American, was his teammate over here at New York Tech. They lost the championship game against Virginia Union, 70 to 64. He's been waiting for it for a long time. And two of the assistant coaches were players on this team last year, Scott Hutchinson and Joe Nicolosi. Rob Cook, the offensive coordinator, was just introduced. And now Jack Kelly, in his fifth year here at New York Tech, gets his just dessert, and he gets his award as being named the champion in NCAA Division II men's lacrosse. He's mobbed by his teammates, and they're enjoying this moment as well they should. That's going to conclude our award ceremony. We'll be back with a couple post-game interviews. Don't go away. We're back in just one minute. Go! Yeah! All right, you hear the jubilation right now. I'm with Coach Jack Kelly of the <laughs> of the uh, NCAA Division II champion. New York Tech Bears and some of his key players. Yeah. Coach, congratulations. Thank you very much. Can you tell me at all what this Echo. feeling is like for you? Well, it's, fan it's fantastic because uh, these guys, uh, we, we worked for this for a full year, okay? We did it the old-fashioned way. We worked hard for it. We earned it. I think we deserved it. Yep. Now, coming into today's game against Adelphi, Adelphi was still the number one ranked team. Were you guys intimidated by that at all? No, no, not, you know, because... No our first, our first game was a shootout. We knew, we knew it was going to be a shootout, okay? And uh, uh, as it turned out, our bullets were a little sharper than their bullets today. <laughs> now the uh, the first half, the first half was kind of a seesaw battle. You were tied seven-seven at halftime. What adjustments did you tell your team to make at halftime? Well, on offense, we wanted to be a little more patient on on, on offense. Uh, we made a couple adjustments defensively. Uh, but the, the, it wasn't the adjustments, okay? It was the intensity of the players and, and their, their conditioning, their hard work all year paid off. We, we told them it was going to be a 60-minute game, and we went hard for 60 minutes. 
Okay, congratulations again, Coach. Let's get some of your players in here. we got to start with the guy who scored six goals today, Steve Tampone. Here's Steve Tampone, the attackman. Last time you guys played against the Delphi, Steve, you didn't get a chance to play in that game. And how does this feel for you here today? This is great, you know, awesome. Can't even describe it. You got a lot of good looks at the goal uh, today. Uh, what did you do to get yourself involved offensively? Just picks. Picking, trying to get open, you know, all the good stuff. And the guy who sets up most of the plays for New York Tech is that captain, Joe Brock. Let's get Joe in here for a minute or two. This guy's in All-America. He's been key all throughout the season. And, Joe, what types of things did you do today to get your teammates involved in the scoring? Uh, we just, like Coach Kelly said, we were patient on offense. And uh, Coach Cook told us, you know, work the ball. They're doubling. They're just they're sitting a the guy down in the crease, and they're doubling and try to bang it back to the other side and hit the crease, but mostly patience won the game today on offense. Now after you got a lead in the second half, Joe, I noticed there were a couple times that you were on the break and you could have gone for the shot and instead decided to back it out. Um, yeah, I guess that, that comes from being a veteran, as I could say, <laughs> being a, Smart. Getting, Smart. and from, from getting yelled at from Coach Cook, but good criticism, very good criticism. Uh, I think we should give a lot of credit to Coach Cook and our, for our offense because without him, Without Co Coach Cook, our offense wouldn't be what it is. I noticed towards the end of the game, you were sort of admonishing this guy right here, Rob Brown, to calm down a little bit at one time. What were you telling him on the field? I was telling him, we're up by like, I don't know if we're up by four or five, and he tried to pass it in the crease. I wasn't really trying to get open. I was just trying to cause a little havoc in the crease, and he tried to pass it to me. And I told him, Bobby, we're up by six goals. Just pull <laughs> it out and run around. He's the fastest guy in the field. Just Pull it out and just run around for a little bit. Take some time off the clock. All right, congratulations, Joe. Let me get your goalie in here for a minute or two. Adam Ward did a tremendous job. We had him down unofficially for 18 saves here this afternoon. Now, Adam, coming into today's game, a lot of the focus was on your counterpart, Rich Grismer, the Adelphi goalie. He's the All-America. Were you intimidated by that at all? No, not really. I try not to think about that. Uh, I just wanted to play my own game. And uh, just talked a lot. Coach Kaley's always telling me I don't talk enough, so I started to, did a lot of talking today. My defense helped me out, and I just played my game. Now, we talked a lot about uh, uh, Rob Grella, who started here at New York Tech and went over to Adelphi. Were you a little bit more conscious of him than you were of some of the other players on Adelphi? Well, you always hear about him. You know, you read about him in the papers and stuff, but uh, they got a lot of good guys. You know, I, I didn't consider him any better than the rest of the guys. You know, they're all good players. Now, when you guys got down by a couple goals a couple times in the first half, Adam, uh, did you ever get a little bit down or concerned that you guys weren't going to pull this one out? No, I didn't. I knew coming in here I had a good feeling about the game. I had a, I had a feeling we were going to win. The team was playing great. One or two goals, being down one or two goals isn't nothing, you know. It's a lacrosse game. Goals are scored quick. All right, congratulations, Adam. One of the other key players offensively today was this guy right here, number 15. Gavin, why not? And Gavin, when we talked about New York Tech winning the championship, the question we got to ask ourselves is, why not? <laughs> exactly. We, 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 got the, we got the best offense in Division Two. We have a solid defense, and our goalie played out of his mind today. So, was there a time? No reason we couldn't win. Was there a time you decided you had to get a little bit more involved personally in the Tech offense in the second half? No, I knew, I knew if we, we were, if we were patient in the second half, everyone would get there. Everyone gets the ball. Everyone gets their chances. I don't. I don't need to score to for us to win. Let's try to get one of the defensive guys in here for a second. Hey, Jim Droge. Jim Droge. Nice job this afternoon, Jim Droge. One of the more physical defensemen on the Bears team. I saw you knocking a couple guys around uh, in front of the goal. Did you guys have a game plan defensively to stop Grella this afternoon? It was more of a, we changed our defense a little bit to kind of like isolate him because he's very deadly on the crease. So it was more just to stop Grella, stop their main shooters, and just wait for them to make a mistake and capitalize. Now last time I saw you Thursday night, you were a little bit, uh, a little bit under the weather. You made a miraculous recovery for today's game. I, I must have ate something wrong, but I feel much better now. It might have been the butterflies too, you know, last big practice for the game. All right. The members of the New York Tech Bears and their coach, Jack Kelly, their athletic director, Clyde Dowdy. Congratulations to them this afternoon. The Bears are the champs in Division Two. That'll do it for us. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.
We had the JUCO championships this last weekend. We also had the Division II championships. New York Tech looking for their first championship ever. They took on a very seasoned Adelphi team. Can you figure out who won this game just by the ending, the shaking hands, New York Tech in blue, Adelphi in white, the Division II championship, first quarter less than two minutes into the game, shot off the post, there's Anthony Torino getting the rebound and scoring past Rich Grismer, 1-0 New York Tech. Then they force the steal and Steve Tempone, who would have a huge game, comes up with the ball, fires and scores 2-0. But Adelphi would come right back. They'd score two straight to tie it up. Then Mike Mangan would score three in a row. Here's one by him. 5-3, then controversy. Watch this. The shot comes from Eric Curran. And is Peter Friedman in the crease? I don't think so, but the official says, I think so. No goal. That was a turning point. The game would be tied at 7 at the half. Third quarter, 8-7 Adelphi. When Joe Brock, look at the shot. Doink off the goalie's head and in the net. That tied the game up at 8. Then it's my man, Gavin. Why not? Why not a tremendous goal by Gavin, and it's 10-8, Adelphi. But Peter Friedman comes back. The rocket ship, an incredible goal. Whoosh, in there for the score, but that would be the last goal to get. Look at why not on the ground, throws it left-handed out there to Tempone, and Tempone scores six goals on the day for Tempone. The New York Tech Bears win the NCAA Division II Men's Championship, their first championship of any kind. Brock had two goals, seven assists. Tempone had six goals. Mangit had five for Adelphi. These guys, uh, we, we worked for this for a full year. Okay, we did it the old-fashioned way. We worked hard for it. We earned it. I think we deserved it. Like Coach Kelly said, we were patient on offense, and uh, Coach Cook told us, you know, work the ball. They're doubling. They're just they're sitting a the guy down in the crease, and they're doubling and try to bang it back to the other side and hit the crease. But mostly patience. Won the game today on offense. I just wanted to play my own game, and uh, just talked a lot. Coach Kelly's always telling me I don't talk enough, so started to, did a lot of talking today. My defense helped me out, and I just played my game. We got the we got the best offense in Division Two. We have a solid defense, and our goal we played out is mine today. So. Our STX Player of the Week, Steve Tempone, six goals in that win over Adelphi. He gets the Division II crown. Tremendous performance for him. For the afternoon, New York Tech beat Adelphi 18-11 to win the Division II Lacrosse Championship. It is New York Tech's first ever title in any sport. Gavin Wynott scores a big goal for Tech in the third quarter, beating Rich Grismer to make it 10-8 Tech. Steve Tampone scored six goals in the win, including the final one of the game, 18-11 in the final. Is the champion of men's lacrosse, Division II. Enjoy this moment, Jack Kelly and the New York Tech Bears. It comes but once in a lifetime. So for everyone on our entire NYIT production staff, including Arthur Budagian and my partner Mike Godone, this is the voice of New York Tech Sports, Mike Trezza, saying so long and thanks for watching. the uh, the finish uh, in the they've not disappointed me some of them have gone on uh, they're not hard